Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So we are gonna be doing a video of me transforming into my Halloween costume this year. I've only really got time to make one and seeing as I'm not actually going to any party or anything like that, I figured, you know, just for the videos, just for the laughs, just for the, you know, just, just, just because it's Halloween, we're gonna make ourselves a costume. So this year I've decided that I'm going to be a woodland nymph. And I say nymph and not fairy because I don't think I have time or if I can be bothered to make wings from scratch and I honestly don't really want to buy any especially the ones that I would like are very extravagant I'm not spending hundreds of pounds just for some wings that I'm not actually going to wear to a party or anything like that we're just going to go with the woodland nymph type feel uh complete with fairy ears and fairy makeup so I'm going to try and just recreate this whole like cottage core lady of the forest thing going on that's what we're doing this year I'm excited. I'm very excited. If you want to watch me transform myself into a member of the Fae, then please carry on watching because I am quite excited. I've never been a fairy before. Yeah, I've never been a fairy before, but I'm very excited to be one. So let's go. Okay, ideas. I have uh, picked out a few of my patterns that I've got hanging over there. Um, this is the Esplanade bra. It's a long line strapless um bra which would be a really good base for the fabric which i'll get onto in a second i also have this corset here it is a proper corset but it's got a body on it now the kind of thing that i was looking to make is very um similar to what uh, official hambly makes like those kind of like princess dresses which would basically be like a corseted bodice and then maybe put a skirt or something on top or underneath I don't know so um so yeah that's what I'm kind of thinking about fabric wise I saw this in one of my local fabric stores and it's like so cute I don't know why I got so much I think I just got really excited because it was on sale but it's basically an embroidered uh mesh with all of these like flowers and stuff and I thought hey yeah yeah woodland nymph full of flowers so maybe making the corset top out of this uh, I think I want to put straps on it maybe turn it into like a puff sleeve thing and then use this for the sleeves as well I already have see this bunch of stuff here this is from my poison ivy outfit that I made a few years ago so I'll be using those as well and also this was also from my poison ivy outfit which was a cape that I made out of this green sparkly mesh so I think I can use that and we can put some of these flowers on this as like a, a capey thing so that's already one thing I don't have to do so um yeah I'm kind of excited maybe this will come together quicker than I thought it would be so I think today what I'm going to do is make a mock-up of this and possibly a mock-up of that in like calico just to see how they're going to fit um we'll figure out what to do with the skirt and stuff later but we need to make sure that the top works and then we can move forward from there okay so i have been a little bit busy making mock-ups of all of the corset type patterns i've got i actually found a third one that i completely forgot about this one is a vicky sews like corset top which if you remember i made it out of this like camo print last time so that one also works i extended it by about six to eight centimeters same with this one and this is the kind of bustier body now i've tried these all on i think i like this one the best because it's got the straps um so i think i might go for the vicky sews one yeah and that also has like a zip portion at the bottom so yeah that's 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 where we are Okay, so I've made a wonderful mess, but this is me cutting out the top. What I ended up doing is kind of franken patterning two of my bra patterns to make one. So I prefer the cup size and shaping of the Esplanade bra, so I kept that fine for the front. But I liked the way that the back scoop and the straps of the Vicky sews. So I just joined the back piece onto this one and then kind of lengthened it so that is basically 
what we've got going on here. The um, Esplanade bra has, it's a three cup piece, as you can see. You've got the left, the right, and then the top. Whereas the Vicky Sews has a three cup, but this goes into the strap, which I'm not actually too keen on for this project. So yeah, this is what we're doing. I extended it much, much more. I did 20 centimeters, so it goes all the way down to my hips. Um, and then if I want to make it shorter, I can, but I'd rather have it longer. And now I'm about to cut this out and I guess put it together. Um, um, instead of using this edging for the top part, I'm going to use fold over elastic so that it feels a bit more secure holding everything in. And hopefully that is going to work. Okay, so I've kind of sewn it up. I made a bit of a miscalculation with these side pieces. I made them the same length as this, but I didn't actually measure from the top. So yeah, this is what it looks like. But you never know, we might be able to do some shaping so it does a little V action. So it's not the end of the world. This bit is open at the bottom. What I've done is joined it at the top around the cups and this has been basted at the side. So what I've done now is I've found some forest green binding which I'm basically going to line up on these seams and sew them, top stitch them down like that and then I can put the boning straight across the front. I might maybe uh, play with the things and do some like V's and stuff I don't know and then um yeah and then I also need to put the straps on and then the zip but I don't have a zip right now and I don't have any um fold over elastic so I've got to get that tomorrow so I think we're going to finish here today Okay, so I got some goodies. Um, I went over to Liverpool today, had a really nice lunch, and then headed over to get some zips and stuff so I can finish this thing. Now, they did not have the fold over elastic that I wanted, which was in green, but we've got a substitute, so we'll see if that works. But let me show you my goodies because I got some stuff that came through the post as well. I'm very excited. All right, so this is where we are with the bodice. And then I just got like a whole bunch of goodies. This is something I already have. This is the Rigeline, which is what I'm gonna use for the boning. I do also have it in white in different sizes. So I'll decide what I'm gonna bone. Um, I picked up some satin bias binding in this really nice green, which I think will look much nicer if it's a little bit silky. I don't know if I should make it that thick or if I should fold it over, but um, we might have to iron it and change the shape so that it fits the Rigeline. I found some open-ended zips that are kind of the same color that will look quite nice on the outside. I wasn't sure I should have measured, but I didn't. So I've got two different sizes. And then for fold over elastic, I couldn't find the green, but I did find this sparkly black, which is kind of like sparkly green to blue, which might actually look quite cute over the top. And then the remainder will be along the bottom while I've shaped it. Now, I also found these um, like little applique things because obviously I'm a lady of the forest. So we're gonna have like loads of bugs. I found all these butterflies in these different colors. So I got like a half meter of each, which I can then attach onto that and maybe my hair and stuff along with this um, like vine type thread stuff, which I can intertwine. But the best thing, these elf ears, they came in the post. Let me just open them and then I'll show you. Okay, so I've been looking for like elf ears, but all the ears that were available, like just for general buying, were not in my skin tone. So I went onto Etsy and I found this place. It's called the Carib Fay, and she does uh, elf ears for uh, people of color. So I was just like, hey! So there's loads of different shades from like super light to quite dark, and I wasn't quite sure which one I wanted because like I'm kind of like an in-between. So I'm, I bought both, but I think these dark ones will probably work. And you just kind of hook, hook it around your ear and your ear sits in that bit. And then you have elf ears. I'm so excited to wear them. Uh, that's absolutely gonna add to the outfit. And while I was on Etsy, I also picked up these really cute um, mushroom earrings because obviously we need mushroom earrings. So yes, uh, we need to get the outfit together, but I'm really excited for the small details because I think these are super cute. Oh, 
Okay, so this is where we are at. Yesterday I put on all the binding and then I decided to add some more around the little booby cups. I made a few mistakes, but that's what these babies are for. Everywhere there's a mistake, a little <laughs> butterfly is going to go. So then you won't even be able to see it. So all I'm going to do today is add the zip um, turns out both the zips I got are too big but the good thing about it being an open-ended zi zipper is that I can have that at the bottom and I can adjust where the top starts so that's not a problem so we're going to add the zip and then this top is basically done all I need to do is add the embellishment and then we can move on to the bottom half which I think is going to be a skirt I think we'll see Okay, real talk, just put the zip in, everything's fine, it's all finished. But, but, I don't like it. I, I just don't like it. While I was working on it, I was like, yeah, this is gonna be really good, but I'm looking at it and I don't like it. I don't like it at all. And then I went to try it on and it doesn't even fit. So somewhere along the line, I've made it not fit and I don't like it. So, yeah, I'll show you, not on, because it doesn't fit, but it is what it is, I don't like it. So we're gonna go back to the drawing board and we're gonna go real simple this time, because I'm realizing that every time I make something with booby pockets, it's really hit or miss. I either love it or I hate it. And in this case, I hate it. So, yeah, no booby pockets? I don't know, we're gonna figure it out, but I'll show you what I got and then, uh, yeah, back to the drawing board. Fun times. So yeah, like I literally just put the zip on. I haven't done any like finishings because as soon as I put the zip on, I was like, I really don't like this. I don't like it at all. And suddenly the fabric that I loved, I'm just like, meh about it. So yeah, I think, I think I'm gonna make a dress with the remainder. And I think I'm gonna make this dress, which it's actually a pattern that I got ages ago, haven't actually made it yet. But I think if I make this here, and then with whatever's left over, make the tiniest of puff sleeves, I'll still get the same look. And I've got just enough to squeeze this little mini dress out of it. So we'll see, we'll see, we will see. All right, so I've spent the last, I don't know, hour or so cutting out and basting the organza back to this so that it's uh, not stretchy and I've done that to all of the dress pieces and um, I'm not going to do it to the sleeve, the sleeve is just going to be one layer and uh, yeah it's it's like seven o'clock in the evening now um, I might do a little bit sewing now but I think I'll probably finish the rest tomorrow but I'm feeling better about this one Okay, so last night I did decide that I was just gonna sew the dress together. So I did that yesterday evening. It is the morning now and I need to put the dress together, put the sleeves on, and then we can just figure out hair and makeup. Exciting. So um, yeah, let me show you the progress and then um, we'll just, we'll hopefully finish it today. Yay, maybe. All right, so this is the dress. It's opened up, but that is what it is looking like. I've actually, if you look on the inside, I've actually already uh, put the boning in this top part. I've provisionally tried it on and it fits, which is great. So even though I've already kind of backed to this with an organza, as you can see, it will still need a lining so that we can have a clean finish on the top. So instead of using like a lining lining, I'm considering, if I just grab the rest of this organza, you see how much I have left, using this organza as a second layer of lining. So that essentially means just cutting out these dress pieces again and in this and then just kind of using that as the lining. So it is still a fairly see-through sheer dress, which I kind of like. Like if I'm gonna wear this out like in public, it's very likely I would wear a bodysuit underneath something like that um, but for the purposes of this Halloween outfit I am going to keep it pretty sheer underneath like you can see the pink 
of that through there. So we're gonna have one more layer of this underneath and I think that will be fine. So once we have put the lining in and the dress is generally finished, then I can go mad with all of my butterflies and just like cover all of this, maybe even some of the sleeves in butterflies and stuff. I, and then I think that is a sufficient outfit, you know, that with the, uh, with the cape and the leaves that I've got there, I think it will work. That is what the dress is looking like. I put on the sleeves, as you can see, they are elasticated. I was actually gonna elasticate it down the bottom, but I actually decided to leave it long and open like that. I actually think it's kind of cute. So all that is left to do to this is add all of my adornments onto this and really make it like the butterfly bug lady. And then I'm also thinking that I will cut off this border and add it to the bottom because right now this is unfinished and it seems that my lining is actually longer than the actual dress. So we're just gonna add that onto the bottom and clean that up and then we're done. Then we are done. Okay, so this is what it's looking like now. I have pinned all of my butterflies and bugs on the dress. I only pinned a few on the back. Most of it's gonna be for the front. I've also pinned uh, some vines on there, so I look very leafy. I've got some extra vines here, which I'm gonna wrap around my arms, and I think I might make a little choker out of the vines. Now, I did wanna make like a butterfly crown, but I don't have enough butterflies, so um, I'm, I'm debating whether I should go buy more butterflies just to make a crown, or should I just stick with my fairy elfness and make myself like a leaf crown instead? I'm not sure, but uh, yeah, now that we've got the placement right, so I've got some invisible thread here, which I'm now gonna tack each and every one on by hand. This is gonna be fun, but then it's done. We still gotta do the hem, but for the most part, it's, it's kind of done, and I think it's cute AF. Okay, so the dress is done. I hand sewed every single one of these bloody things on and it's actually looking really cute. So I'm just kind of like trying to, I only did it in the middle so I can like bend some of these so that it can um, come out. I decided actually against putting the vines on there. I think I'll just for pictures sake wrap myself in them. And then at the end, I cut off a little strip and um, added it as a ruffle at the bottom because it was kind of short. And then what I did is I just trimmed around the edges so that it kind of was scalloped. I didn't trim it like amazingly because I can do that later, but for picture's sake, I think this is gonna work. So yeah, all that's really left to do now is put on this outfit and I would have made myself an outfit before Halloween, although I'm pretty sure this video will come out after Halloween, but like, yeah. Here we go, let's get dressed. Let's become a fairy. literally just finished filming but I just wanted to say how much I absolutely love this dress this is the fairy dress of my dreams it's like something that I could absolutely wear outside of being a fairy and also these ears I'm so obsessed with um, I did try to do my makeup I'm not great at makeup but like I really enjoy this look like freckles rosy cheeks leaves in my hair butterflies all over 
I'm kind of obsessed. So if there are any fairies out there taking the applications to be like fairies, I would like to submit my application for official fairydom, please. So I've made my one and only Halloween costume this year and it is before Halloween. Although I don't know if you'll be watching this video before Halloween, possibly after or maybe even on Halloween. Either way, thank you for watching my vlog. I hope you enjoyed my outfit and the end results. I am gonna be a fairy forever. Tell me what you thought of this video in the comments below and if you haven't already, then subscribe and I will see you probably looking like a fairy still like in these ears in the next video. See you later. Happy Halloween!